everyone, here is my unboxing video for the Benevolent Beauty Box for the month of July 2018. They are completely cruelty free and their boxes are $29.99 a month and you can save if you do a shorter, a short term subscription. Uh, I think you can do three months, six months, and a year. I do three months at a time so if at any point I would like to cancel I can. Um, their boxes have been pretty good in the past, but the last month or two, they were kind of downhill and communication from the company had really gone down. Um, they sent out an email explaining everything to their customers early last week. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm a little bit hoarse today. And they l filled us in on their situation. So hopefully this month um, we'll kind of pick back up to their um, their previous quality, I guess. But again, they're completely cruelty free and everything in there is uh, free from animal testing, which I 100% support. So let's see what we got for this month's Benevolent Beauty Box. I've not looked inside yet, so I don't know what's gonna be in here. First up, we have a matte lipstick in the color Freckle. I do not know who it's from. Um, usually there's an info card in the box, so I'll look here in a minute. Okay, so this is a brown lipstick. I don't think I've ever worn brown lipstick. I'm totally willing to try it, but as you can tell, it's brown. Um, I'll do a, it smells really good. It smells like vanilla. I'll do a swatch to see. Okay. Um, if I can pull that off in the fall, that's awesome because I don't have a brown lipstick. I don't know if I can. Again, I'll try it. Here's the info card. I'll come back to that because I like to be surprised about what's in here. We have a B lighter. Okay. From L'Aqua. Uh, it's a blush. It's a highlighter. It's a blighter. Apply to skin for an angelic wash of color. This multitasking balm melts into skin, imparting the perfect flush and luminosity. I'm sorry, I did not mean to sound like a teacher there, imparting. Um, although I was a teacher in my previous life. Anyway, uh, I like highlighters and um, blushes that are uh, creamy rather than um, powder forms. So. Hopefully, I will like this, if I can get this out. It's called Peacher's Daughter. <laughs> That's kinda, kinda cheesy, <laughs> but cute too, I guess. Mm, okay, well I can't get this out of the box, but I really want to. I really like the packaging. Um, it's, it's really pretty packaging, like a rose gold lid. Oh, that's really pretty. Um, I tend to go for colors like this, so, and it's not very heavy, so, okay, it doesn't have a smell, um, that's fine, I don't know that you're going to be able to get that, sorry, <clears throat> that will be a really nice item for me. There's something heavy in here, and that makes me super happy. Okay, what else is this? Um... Damon, Damon, I apologize, uh, Robert Stone Cole. Okay, I don't really want to say that <laughs> because I'd like to keep this G. Um, Stone Cold Witch Highlighter, Eyebrow Highlighter. Okay, I'm super excited for this. I don't really care what the name is because I do not have any eyebrow highlighters. Um, as you can tell, my eyebrows are left over from middle school when everybody plucked them and they never really grew back. It's an icy blue tone that blends into a soft matte vanilla. Works best on women with fair skin. So I fall into the fair to medium category. And you can blend it with the highlighter brush. Um, okay. Again, packaging that I can't operate. So how are you doing? How's your day going? <clears throat> This is made in the Czech Republic. Okay, so here's the the name. <laughs> Sorry, I have a lot of teenage girls that watch this and even though I know they're using those words. Mm. Okay, so 
This is a very blue, very creamy and soft. I'll be very excited to try that out um, for real because I've never used that before. So, okay, so one, two, three. It looks like we only got four items this month. Four items. Okay, so here's the card that they send and the final item is a palette. <clears throat> it is from Aesthetica Cosmetics. Sorry, that's backwards. And it's a powder contour kit. Um, I honestly have, as you can tell, zero experience with contouring. It's just not something I got into. Um, occasionally I'll use a highlighter or something, but as far as this kind of thing, it's not something I've done. So here's a chance for me to gain more experience, I guess. Um, okay, so we've got a full contour kit and they're actually, the pots can come out so I could put them in a Z palette if I wanted to, although they're packaged pretty well here. Let's see what is about that. The Aesthetica Powder Contour Kit works to sculpt and highlight your favorite features. Each contour kit combines three darker matte pressed powders and three illuminating highlighting powders that are designed to accentuate, define, and highlight your face. The retail value on that is $40. And the Eyebrow Highlighter has a retail of $20. The Blush Lighter has a retail of $17, and the lipstick is from Terra Mare, and they are a great company. Um, they're completely, like, natural. I can't get over how good the lipstick smells. So even if I can't pull off brown on its own, I can probably use this with a berry color. Um, that has a retail of $34, and I believe it because all of their prices are... <laughs> kind of in that range, um, that company. So let's see, um, 20, 40, that's 60, plus 34, that's 94. And we have a retail of 111 um, for a $30 box. Now, those of you who have read my blog know, I don't put too much stock in retail values because um, I shop at Marshalls and TJ Maxx a lot. <laughs> and if you're laughing, that's <laughs> cause I mean, hey, I like to save money. Um, so at those stores, these items would be a lot cheaper, but that doesn't mean that I could buy these online for the Marshalls price. So if I were to go to terramare.com, I'd be paying $34. The reason I love beauty boxes, though, is because I get to try products way cheaper than I would um, simply paying for them. I guess the downside to a beauty box is that you are taking a gamble. Um, would I pick up a brown lipstick in person? No. But am I excited to try it? Yeah. Um, and the brow highlighter, I'm really excited for because that's not something I have. Um, I think from at first blush, uh, at first blush, I think my favorite item is definitely, if I can open it again, going to be the blush highlighter combo. I mean, that's just a gorgeous color and it's creamy um, and it's a little bit shimmery, but kind of an adult shimmer. So overall, I think this is a pretty good month. I, I like it when they send an eye product because they usually send really good eyeshadows. So, um, you know. But that's the July 2018 Benevolent Beauty Box. Uh, stay tuned to find out whether or not I actually keep my subscription with them. It ends in July, so we'll see. Um, I still, um, you know, completely support cruelty-free companies, so I like that aspect. In the other regard, I'm going to have to learn how to use this, so we'll see how that goes. But... Hope you all have a great day um, before I start cheerleading next week. I'm enjoying my last week and I hope to get a lot of reviews in uh, before next week. So take care.